Hi, I'm Tom Stewart with Cleaning Business Today, and for today's tip, we're going to show you how to calculate the average revenue for a job. We have an example in a spreadsheet with 25 jobs and the revenue for each one of those jobs. We take the revenue and sum it up, we get $3,239. Take that, divide it by the number of jobs, which in this case is 25, we come up with an average of $129.56. Now that could be a good average for you depending upon what you're going to be doing with that number. But let's take a look at some of the details here just to see if, if that's reflective of what we're actually uh, going to be using it for. There's two numbers within our range of 25 that kind of jump out at me. This one here which is $375, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And the one down here below it which was at $455. Those jobs in this example were first time ends and were billed at a higher rate because there was a lot more work involved. Now if on a, any given day if you're doing two first time ends for every 25 jobs you do in total then maybe this is a good average for you. But if not maybe you want to break those first time end numbers out separately and calculate a different average for, for those as well as for your regular reoccurring. An example of that is here where we'll take the two first time in numbers, put them in a new column, take your remaining 23 jobs, add them together and you come up with a number of 2409, divide that by now 23, that's the number of jobs left for regular reoccurring, you get an average of 104.47 which is you know, a fair amount lower, that's $25 uh, dollars lower than what you were getting when you had them all added together. Likewise, you can take your two first time ends and average them in your four, $415, a number quite a bit higher. So for planning purposes, for forecasting purposes, you want to use an average revenue per job that fits the type of jobs that you're applying it to. If you do apartment cleaning, if you do vacation rentals, if you do commercial work, other types of work that would have, be at a different price point, then you might be better served to use an average revenue per job calculated off of just those types of jobs. Hope you find this useful and thank you for watching Cleaning Business Today's Daily Tip.